My name is Jesse Clark, I'm the CSR Building Scientist and we're, today we're here at Weatherall Park, the R&D facility in Western Sydney. And we're going to be looking at the relative performance of different insulation types and how they perform in real life situations. What we have is three boxes to represent to build an envelope and in this case we have an uninsulated box and it's standard sort of construction with a 90 mil stud work, uh, internal linings and a uninsulated cavity in here. The external lining will be placed on the outside on the front here. Second, we have a box which has been insulated with a foil membrane and you can see the foil membrane here. So the foil actually faces into the stud cavity and that creates a reflective air gap which works on the radiant heat transfer and improves the thermal performance of the system. Third, we have a box which is insulated with Bradford gold bats and it's still got exactly the same construction, same dimensions, and we're going to be looking at that relative performance of the Bradford Gold versus the reflective foil versus an uninsulated system. So in each of the boxes, we have a funnel. We're going to fill each funnel with exactly the same quantity of ice. We're going to place each funnel back in each of the boxes, take the three boxes outside in full sunshine, put the lids back on, put the cladding back on, and we're going to measure the rate at which the ice melts and the water collects in the measuring cylinder below. From this, the amount of water that we collect in, under each box will give us an indication of the relative heat flow rate for each of the insulation types. So let's take this outside. So we're outside now on a warm summer's day and what we're going to be doing is we're going to put some dye into each cylinder underneath each box. This will help us identify which box is which. We're going to put in yellow dye into the box which has the Bradford Gold bats. We're going to put in green dye into the cylinder underneath the box with the Bradford wall wrap. And we're going to be putting blue dye under the box which has no insulation. So we're about 15 min minutes into the experiment now. Out in the sun here it's about 30 degrees air temperature and we're starting to collect water in all the cylinders. We can see in the uninsulated box, the cylinder on the uninsulated box, we're collecting the most water so far. It's now been 90 minutes, we're going to stop the experiment, we're going to collect the three cylinders and compare how much water is in each cylinder.